where to put short-term savings. I'm sure we all have some amount that we have saved, but where should we be keeping that money? That is what today's video is about. I am Tiffany Thomas, a financially free millionaire. If you're looking to become one of those, make sure and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and we are going to dive right in. All right, let's first talk about what is short-term savings. So I'm talking about money that you are going to use within the next few months or a year or even up to five years. This could be money that is saved for an emergency maybe if you need to pay your health deductible or your auto deductible or a homeowner's insurance deductible. It could be a certain amount of money that is saved for some type of emergency like that. It could also be an amount that you are saving for a down payment on a house. Maybe you've been renting for a while and you know that you want to buy your own place so that you never have to move again. So it could be the amount of money that you are planning to put down on a property. Or maybe you are like me and you like investing in real estate so you are saving up for another down payment on another property. Or it could be a certain amount of money that you are saving up in order to be able to take a trip somewhere. I know I have done that before. I love traveling. And if that is what you are doing, comment below and tell me where you are going. Or maybe you have already bought your house and you want to do some things to the backyard, make it a little bit nicer. That is what I'm currently saving up for. I want to redo the patio in the backyard and add a pergola and a few different things out there. So I am saving my money in order to do that. So whatever your savings goal is, where should you be putting that money? I personally just use a savings account, but not just any savings account. I like using a high yield interest savings account. The one that I personally use is called Ally, A-L-L-Y, and we will take a look at their website in just a moment, but they have a higher interest rate for their savings account which means if you are leaving a significant amount of money in there, or even if you are just planning to leave your money in there for a long time for that emergency that might come up, then it's nice to have that money earning at least a little bit more interest than just your typical brick and mortar bank. I also use a local credit union, and from what I have seen, the local credit union pays nowhere near the interest that Ally pays. So I keep very little in my credit union and I have a good chunk of savings in Ally. And just to share a personal example, when I was just keeping my money in the credit union, it was earning less than 1% interest. And as I was keeping a large chunk of money in there, I kept thinking, I know this could be making me a little bit more money, but I just wasn't sure where to put it. And when I started looking for high yield interest savings accounts, the one I found was Ally. And so I did some research for that particular bank, of course, to make sure that they were stable and I saw good reviews on them. So I switched over the chunk of savings that I had to Ally. So instead of earning just a dollar maybe in my savings account at my credit union, I started earning maybe $50 a month, depending on how much money I had in my savings account. And that may not sound like a ton of money to some people, but that adds up over time. Because if you are earning just $50 a month on your money that is sitting there anyway, then that is $600 a year. So that can add up to quite a bit of money that you could do something with, including putting that money toward your travel fund that you're saving up for or whatever it might be. But we want to make sure that we are at least making our money work for us as much as possible, even if it is just a short-term savings. And that's why I like using a high interest savings account and not putting it in the stock market because if it is, for a short-term savings goal. The stock market is very risky, as I've talked about before. And of course, over the long term, the stock market does rise, but in that short term, it goes up and down. And as we have seen in 2022, it went down quite a bit. So if we were saving our money in an investment account in the stock market, we would not be able to access as much money as we originally had if we tried to pull that out at the end of 2022. We want to make sure that we have our money in the right places for the reasons we are saving or investing that money. That's why I like using a high interest bank account because you can pull that money out immediately. I don't have to wait six months or a year or three months if I was putting it into CDs, into certificates of deposit, or if I was putting it in the stock market, I would have to wait until that money was up again before withdrawing it. Keeping your short-term savings 
in a high interest savings account is a great way to save that money and then make a little bit extra money. And now let's take a look at Ally's website and we can see what their current interest rate is and some of the benefits of using Ally. And no, I am not affiliated with Ally. Okay, I have pulled up Ally's website just so that we can take a look and see exactly how this works. And I clicked on their checking and savings account at the top. So they have 24 seven support, which is nice in case there are any problems. And then they have just a few extra benefits that I want to talk about. Because if we are saving for different things, then Ally has a way to separate the different things that we are saving for. They have what they call buckets. So you can set aside money into specific buckets, whatever you are saving for. It's all in one savings account, which makes it nice because that way you can earn that high interest rate on all of your money, but you can divide it up into buckets. So for example, if you are saving for a down payment on a house, then you can create a bucket for the down payment and then you can transfer a certain amount of money into that bucket. And then if you are saving for a trip to Italy, let's say, then you can put a specific amount into that bucket. And then if you're maybe saving for a car, you can put a specific amount of money into that bucket. And then of course you can have just a bucket that is for emergencies only, and that would be the bucket that you don't touch unless you do have an emergency. But it's nice because you can see the separate amounts in each bucket. So you can see if you are getting close to reaching that amount that you want for your Italy trip or the amount that you need for a down payment on a house. And for me personally, I have a bucket for taxes since I have my own business and I don't have a nine to five, I have to pay my taxes every single year. So I set aside money into that bucket just for taxes. And then I do have another bucket just for emergencies. And then when I was buying another property, I had another bucket for a down payment on a rental property. So it is up to you and what you want your buckets to be. You can name them anything you want. And that is another benefit of having these different buckets because you can see right in there that you are saving for a trip to Italy, which is exciting. It just makes it a little bit more fun to save your money because you can see exactly what you are saving for. And then going back to their website, they also have what they call boosters. So they help you accelerate your savings. And I personally don't use these right now. So I do want to just mention them really quickly. One is a recurring transfer. And I would highly recommend doing this. If you are trying to build up your savings, your emergency fund, you can do a recurring transfer from your checking account from a different bank and have a certain amount transferred to your savings account. That way you don't have to even think about transferring your money into your savings account. It is just automatic. And by automating it, then you are making sure that it gets done every single month. So you could just have that transfer set up every two weeks if you are getting paid every two weeks. And then the second booster that they have is called Roundups. And this is kind of interesting. So what they say is they track your ally interest checking accounts for transactions that they can round up to the nearest dollar. And then when you accrue at least $5 in roundups, then they transfer it over to your savings account, which is nice because then you aren't trying to log into your account and transfer money over to your savings account every so often. And then they have what they call a surprise savings. And this is where they analyze your linked checking accounts for safe to save money, then transfer it to your savings so you don't have to do it. So they make that automatic transfer for you. And of course you don't have to use any of these boosters if you don't want to, but they are there if that is something you are interested in. And then of course they have no monthly fees to use their savings account. They don't have any minimum requirement that you have to keep in your account. And their interest rate right now is at 3.3% which is a really good interest rate. And working with a number of different clients, I am a little surprised that a lot of them do not have their savings account in a high interest savings account, which is part of the reason why I recorded this video because it is important that we are doing what we can to make a little bit extra money. If you currently have your money just sitting in a savings account that is earning you 1% or even less than 1%, I would highly consider moving it to a high yield savings account and 
and you can use Ally or you can just Google high yield savings accounts and find a bank that works for you because every little bit really does add up over time. Comment below and tell me which bank you are going with and what their current interest rate is. And if you are thinking, well, Tiffany, I already have my emergency fund and I'm going to move that over, but I have some extra money in my savings account that I want to get invested so that the money can start working for me instead of me always working for the money. I have a free masterclass about that, about getting your money invested as simply as possible. I will leave a link to that below this video. So click on that and sign up for my free masterclass. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button and share it with someone else who would like to hear this information and hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to the little bell to get notified on when I post new videos. And if you want to see even more content from me, make sure and check out the videos on the side of the screen. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.